morning friends. So we're recording from home today. Um, so I thought that we could continue our discussion of dinosaurs, even though I don't have all the materials that I would normally have with me. Um, we are going to be wrapping up our study of dinosaurs next week and sort of make a list of things that we have learned about dinosaurs and try and figure out if there's anything we still want to know that we can talk about. It's just water, so it's okay. Um, I have my little buddy with me, so he might be popping in and out. Yeah, you can. That's fine. All right, we are going to be talking about herbivores and carnivores. So an herbivore, if you remember, is a dinosaur that eats plants. And a carnivore is a dinosaur that eats meat. And there are some that ate both, and that's called an omnivore. But right now we're gonna be talking about herbivores and carnivores. Now if we were together, I would ask each of you to decide where these dinosaurs went but we're not, so you're just gonna be hearing from me. Um, I have pictures um, that I cut out that I will also send moms and dads, and I just picked the dinosaurs off of that printout that we've talked about before or have learned about um, in our, our study so far. So, let's start with What's our first dinosaur gonna be? Ooh, perfect. T-Rex. I'm sure most of you know where T-Rex would fall. And he is a carnivore. T-Rex is a carnivore. Next we've got Stegosaurus. What do you guys think Stegosaurus might fall? What do you think, Summer? Yeah. Stegosaurus is an herbivore. No, no, no. Stegosaurus is an herbivore. We're not taking them off. Nope. Next, we've got Parasaurophilus. Parasaurophilus? <laughs> Parasaurophilus. Summer, stop. Oh. is an herbivore. He's going to go right up there with the herbivore. And we've got... We've got... Spinosaurus. Where might Spinosaurus go? Spinosaurus is going to go with the carnivores. Spinosaurus eats meat. No. Yeah. I'm not the one. Then we've got Diplodocus. No. Diplodocus no. is an herbivore. Hey, with the herbivore. In the arbor? Yeah. Mommy, I want to open my nope. This is Ichthyosaurus. Hmm. Looks like a fish, right? I see. Ichthyosaurus was a scavenger. It's so, a scavenger? Yep. It ate all sorts of stuff that it could find, which included other fish, things like that. So it's a carnivore. Mommy, that's Robin. It is Robin. Then we've got Ankylosaurus I has the big tail I swings around. I yeah. Ankylosaurus was an herbivore. You can hang out right there with the herbivores. I see. Ooh, this is a good one. Raptor. Let's see the raptor. Yeah. Raptors are carnivores. Let's see what we've got. Brachiosaurus. Indicate. Great. Great. The brachiosaurus. 
dinosaurs. Wait, black one. There's an herbivore. Or black one. Right there. Or black one. Or black one. And we've got pterodactyl. Mommy, the black one. I think he's in the other room. Oh, A pterodactyl. It's a carnivore. Also a carnivore. Not two more. Iguanodon. Iguanodon is an herbivore. You can go right there. And Brontosaurus. A brontosaurus is an herbivore. And I will take a picture of this and send this along with the email too. Oh no! Mommy, no! Mommy, no! It's okay, don't worry. So how do we know what animals were eat meat eaters and which ones were plant eaters and which ones were omnivores? Well, there are scientists that we've talked about called paleontologists. Tough word to spell, it's really, really long, but it starts with a p, p, p. So paleontologists study dinosaurs and, and they're able to tell by the makeup of their bones and the marks on their bodies. Um, and how those match up with the teeth of other dinosaurs and what kind of teeth they had. And they're able to tell what they likely ate when they were alive. It's really, really interesting to see how much you can learn just from bones and fossils. So next week, we're gonna start wrapping up our study of dinosaurs. So this weekend, kind of think about what you know, what you've learned, if there's anything that you still think about, if there's anything that you want to know that we can find out in the next week or so, um, anything you still had questions about, anything that you found really fascinating about what we've learned. Um, and I hope everyone has a really wonderful, fun, snowy weekend. And we'll see you guys on